Yeah, so it's the uh, one of the valves, the I think pretty sure it's the exhaust valve. Yeah, the exhaust valve from the Saab 30 horsepower. Um they've already been ground and lapped in, but I'm not 100 percent happy with the seat here. So I'm gonna spend a bit more time and uh try and improve the seat. Okay, so what have you done? What have you put around there? Basically fine grinding paste. What what is the paste called and what does it do? Well, it doesn't matter. What would it be called in the UK? Uh, in the UK, it's just literally just grinding or lapping paste. Good. Uh, and it's just grease and um, carborundum. I think it's carborundum in, in it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Comes in fine and coarse. So you can sort of see the difference in the textures. Yep. Um, I've already gone over it with the coarse and. Now I'm just going to use the fine just to finish off Let's the seat. That seat there looks pristine. Now tell me, uh, what exactly do the valves do? Literally, this one lets the air in when the engine's ready for air. So, let me just clean that. So literally, as the engine needs air, oxygen for the burn that would open and when it wants to exhaust the gas that one would open and literally be it would be okay. dancing so like uh, perhaps you can explain on this head a little bit clearer yeah I'll come around the other side yeah yeah so you can see it from the side can no you need to yeah that's him, if I bring him, here. Got him. Yeah. so literally you'd have two push rods that come up from lower down in the engine and work on a cam and as the cam turns the eccentrics would push on the push rod and would open and close the valve using the rocker and that all very carefully timed yeah and they would literally rock like that and hence. press the valves open can you turn him upside down uh, so we can just see doesn't need to press but yeah so they sit there so those are the same again yeah same again um, and each time the rocker, the push rod is pushed up, the rocker would Rocks. go onto the valve, push the valve open, and then as the pressure is released, the valve will close because of the spring. Right, so um, these holes are for. You've got the head bolt holes, yeah. the four there. Um, that wipe and the others one for the injector nozzle to come through and fire the fuel there's one here I think it's that one for the water jacket on this engine the water jacket runs through here All right the water would be fed through and circulate around the head there's a core plug, so... In so that, that looks new. Why would um, that be new? At some point, either there hasn't been any antifreeze in the engine, or... Oh, when it got sort of pushed out or something? Yeah, yeah, when, when the water in the, in, the, in the head freezes, and the block, the lower half of the engine would also have core plugs in. So if you imagine you've got the, the inner workings surrounded by a casing, mm -hmm. and then between the inner casing and what you see when you look at the engine, you've got another casing, mm -hmm. and all around that you've got um, galleys for water to flow through, mm -hmm. um, and the core plugs, literally, it stops the water if it freezes or overheated, or overheating, from literally cracking either the block or the head. So they could blow out from overheating too? Yeah, if, if, nice. if, if, okay. you, if, you, if your water jacket gets blocked up, or your thermostat stays closed, Mm. And the water boils, and the pressure builds up so much, it can either do one or two things. It'll either blow the head gasket and possibly warp the head, or it'll blow the core plug out. Right, so what are the core plugs held in? Is it just friction, or is there...? They're just pushed in. All they are is, is a little round cup inside there. There's no proper seat or anything. Right, right, so They're like just... a tin on a paint tin. Yeah, lid yeah, literally a like tin. a lid on a paint tin. Yep. So Good. Brilliant. They're just a, a two pence, they're around about two, three pence each. 
throwaway part. And there are the injectors, which we've already discussed, which would go through go there. through there. And out the other side, and they would just yep. squirt the fuel in to the oh, cylinder. These holes here are for the push rods. Gotcha. So they would go through there. And push. And come out here, one on each, right. and ultimately up and down. Okay. Thank um, you very much, Dewey. That's great. Yeah.